There we go. So we made room for our new drive right there. Okay, I like to slide these hard drive or these uh, CD drives, DVD drives in from the front. It'd be a lot easier. This particular box has a has a locking sleeve here. Just push that down, lock it into place. Not quite done yet. Need to install a couple bolts on the other side to secure it in place and also to ground it. So you don't want to forget to do this. If I can get the box off from the side off here. Okay. Now as you can see, there's the drive lines up in the slot so you can put a bolt in it. Bolts are provided with the case. It does help to have a magnetic tipped uh, screwdriver here, which I don't. There's also a slot here in the front to install a nut. Okay. We'll go ahead and leave this cover off of this side just in case we need to access this side again. Now I'm going to install the hard drive. In this particular case, we've got a spot for three hard drives here, here, and down here. I'm going to install the hard drive right in this slot here. For this particular build, I'm using a uh, 800 gigabyte hard drive. Very simple to install. Just unpack them, slide them into the slot. Okay, I think we're going to go down one slot. This slot here is for a floppy drive, which I don't think anyone uses anymore. So we're going to go down into the bottom here. Okay. Now, there are holes that are in, uh, perforated into the case that line up with the hard drive where you put bolts into. You want to go ahead and secure the hard drive in four places, two on this side and two on the other side. Okay, now we have the hard drive installed. It's ready to go. Now the last thing we need to do with this is install the power supply. Very easy to do. Your power supply has four bolt holes here. And just all you do is simply put it up into the uh, top of the box. It has uh, some alignment slots in there. So we'll just align it right with the top. 
Take a look at what we have here on the back. There we go. As you can see, the bolt holes are lined up. At this point, we'll just get a couple of them started. I'll go ahead and put the rest of those in. Okay, that's installed. Now what we need to do is attach the uh, cable from the power supply to the motherboard and then attach our hard drive, power to our hard drive, and power to our uh, DVD. Attaching power to the motherboard is simple. Move these out of the way for right now. This big connector here, there's only one of them, and it only attaches one way. Okay. Move all these out of the way. There's our connector there. Simply attach it right to the right to the motherboard. As you can see, I've got it backwards. There we go. Attaches just like that. Next, we want to give power to the motherboard, and we have a connector here that is specifically designed to plug right into the motherboard and that plug is right here every mother every power supply and every motherboard has these two connections Let's go ahead and install that Okay, you can see that that is now connected to the motherboard. Now I want to connect the power to the DVD drive and the hard drive. The uh, DVD is an older style model and this is an old 4-pin power connector. We'll go ahead and connect that, which is right there. And again, this only connects one way, so if you've got it backwards, just flip it over. There we go, and that's connected. Now I want to hook up the hard drive, and it's, an, it's a newer style hard drive. Takes this type of power connection. And again, it only installs one way. So very easy to do. Plugs in just like that. Okay. Now that all components of the computer have power, we want to take all these leftover cables we want to stuff them up in here neatly out of the way and this helps to keep everything clean and professional looking, it also helps um, the air movement through the computer so to keep the computer cooler we don't have a bunch of wires in the way to, to stop the air I like to stuff them up in here in the empty drive bays. Everything out of the way. 